Welcome back to another video. I am driving you guys, so I need to focus on the road because here in rural Thailand, you just never know what's gonna step out in front of your vehicle. Anyway, two weeks ago, in our Chatuchak weekend market video, we put in there a very short clip of some very different mammals. And in the comments section, you guys were quite interested, quite puzzled, unable to identify what they were. So we decided that we were going to do our best to give you guys a video and give you the whole breakdown on what those are. So we did some research, Apple did local research, and we found a local breeder about an hour's drive from our house uh, in a small village, and she is supposedly a breeder, a farm, we're not exactly sure, but we are taking you guys out there. We are going to ask the owner of this place all the questions that you want answered, and hopefully we can give you guys a really good rundown on what these mammals are. So, hope you enjoy the video, let's get to it. And this is Medeng. So, Medeng. So, I contact her because she has bamboo rats. So, she said she has 14 babies. And Medeng me babies 14 tua. Tua yai mi ki tua ka? Tua yai paman 17 adults. That's what she has. So, we will show you guys next. Oh, she said this is the food for bamboo rats. They love eating this hard bamboo wood. And this is also one of the food, sugar canes. Very sweet inside. This is her farm. Mm, yeah. Before she had so many, but she's not well herself, so she sold them out also. Oh my gosh, you guys! Wow. Oh my gosh! Look at the size between my hands. Wow. And how are they for holding their tame or not? Medang um dai me khani. She said the baby we can handle the babies. Hmm. The big one she's still not sh quite sure about that. Look at that. Gentle. Um dai 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 they don't like loud voice. They like gentle and quiet. Put down learn like a lie. Tony, are you told like a cabinet? Two months old. And she has. This is one, two, three, four, five, six with this one in my hands. In Thailand, we call this one on or tua on. How cute. Oh, Medeng got another one over there, bigger. Oh, wow. Yeah, let, let me go closer to each other. Medeng, my yin, kai kan de meka. Ani, kai liang te kwan yang lik lik, toni da, yu um da, to yin ko um da. Oh, this big one right here, she has his. As a baby, she raising it, oh. and she said that I can try to hold the bigger one. Yeah. So the size. This is two months old. Tony, are you tall like a Three years. This one. Mm. Two months and three years. You guys, this is so incredible. Experience for me. Yeah. Ani, Oh, Ben Chu Chu Kong Farm. Do you know how sweet this one? Ben Tuo Bu Ying, la Gu Nai. This one is a female, and her name is Cao Sui. This beautiful rice. Oh. She is the owner of the farm. This one. Hmm. This one is the owner of the farm. This one. So this one is favorite. Her favorite. Yeah, yeah. But yang lek lek, you in condo. Oh, actually, it belongs to her son. Her son has it in the condo in Bangkok. Oh. 
yeah, it's his favorite. And now um, he moved it here and her, his mom take care of her. Oh, so cute, my goodness. Something just licked my leg. I hope it wasn't uh, a dog. That's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that is the dog. Oh, she said she wants me to put it down. Yeah. Put the baby down and then she wants me to hold another one. Oh. Oh, wow. รู้จักยังไงคะคุณแม่อุ้มเอ่ยอุ้มเอ่ยนี่ก็ได้ค่ะไม่เป็นไรโอ้แกตะกอดแน่นเลยอ๋อเค้าปวดตกแกก็เล
not the not the bamboo stick they already did that is too hard for them yeah, too dry with no too nutrition dry, yes but the the live bamboo sticks they are still got nutrition in it oh, okay here this is cooked sticky rice in the morning and what and about water let them like oh. oh. Okay. Okay. So for water, they're not so serious for this animal. They got water from sugarcane. They got water from bamboo. Actually, from the stick, they got water. They are not drinking so much of water, but they provide water for them. So right now they might not taking it because it's not their time. They actually nocturnal. They will eat at night time and daytime they just sleep all day. So like me, is it? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Uh, it's not my feeding time. Mm -hmm. This is the male. She call it barking right now. <laughs> oh, that nose. ถ้าฟันมันยาวถ้าฟันมันยาวเนี่ยการยาวเกินขนาดเนี้ยมันจะกินอาหารไม่ได้ค่ะถ้าฟันล่างฟันบนมันมันยาวมันจะกินอาห
they love it as a pet. For sending out to another country, Vietnam or China, then they eat them. Lao. Lao. Yes. But here, the market in Thailand, they love it for pet. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Suai. This one know her name. So it's Suai. <laughs> so, she said Thailand is very hot. In hot season, it's extremely hot. So she has to turn on the fan around here, and she has sprinkler system in here also to keep the cool temperature in the fan. Wow, that's relaxing. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now this is how she works, she told me. So, when she put the dad and the mom together, everybody got names, and then who with who, it's right here, with the date, and then when they got pregnant, when do they give birth, and when the baby is stopped nursing. For example, this one is stopped nursing on the November 8th. You guys, this is super interesting. This is so different from what we do. And these animals are not popular in the U.S. I don't even know if they are in the U.S. at all. I don't think so. Okay, there you go. Go back to the house. So they have no smell apparently. Um, there are some guinea pigs and some rats here, just regular stuff. And of course, we all know those smell. Uh, you have to, a lot of upkeep, keep the cages clean and that sort of thing with the urine and all the smell. But these, for some reason, just don't have an odor. I think it's because they don't really drink water, um, limited moisture in their diet, and then they're eating like a lot of wood pulp and, and dry stuff. So. Um, they're not real messy. Obviously, they're being kept in these cement cylinders because they chew. And you can't keep them in wood cages because they'll just chew out of it. That's what they do. So, really, really interesting. This is more of a farm than we expected, I think. We didn't know what exactly we were going to see. But, ah, this is really interesting. Almost like a commercial setup. But you can tell there's a lot of love that she has for all these animals. They all have names. She knows which ones are like super docile. She knows how to like talk to them, mimic their sound and all that. So that's pretty cool. They so have the, the rain cute. system, the fans. Oh, yeah. and the little ones. Babies of everything are just so cute. But <laughs> look at that little guy. So they have this little tail. It's actually kind of rigid and muscular. It can't be a prehensile tail because it's too short. And these things look, definitely don't look like they're built for climbing in any way. But it's different than a rat or, or, or a mouse because their tails are just, they just kind of drag. But these are, they actually feel a little bit muscular and rigid, but just a little short tail like that. Very soft. Even the adults are soft, but of course the babies are Super soft little guy is really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they breed, and then how long is gestation? Uh, to how long? Nah, kuma um thong two days. Kuma bang. Forty-five days. Forty-five pregnant, days. Carrying baby. And then she knows exactly. That, yes, she that one is going to give birth on the 11th. Like yes. She knows. Yes. She knows. Look at the boobies. And this one is pregnant. This one she didn't uh, hold for a long time. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and they recognize individual people's scent or voices or anything? คุณแม่เค้าจําเราได้มั้ยเค้าจํากลิ่นเราได้มั้ยเค้าจําเสียงเราได้มั้ยเยส she open the door in the morning the lash go click everybody will cry 
And that one over there in that corner cried louder than either uh, the other. Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Your mama's coming for feeding. But some will not cry, but that one in that corner is very loud. Uh. <laughs> So you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for educating us and showing us all there is to know about bamboo rats. There's a lot of love going on here, you guys. If you're interested, if you're in Thailand, of course, and you're interested, I will put some contact information below in the description. But bamboo rats, something pretty wild, you guys. Didn't expect to have this happen today, but we wanted to answer some of your questions. All right, you guys.